Right, question 13. So, we need to work out a value of k. So, in other words, x cannot equal k. Well, what that's talking about is the denominator. We don't want that equaling 0. So, in other words, let's find out when it's equal to 0. So, if we think about ln x minus 2 equals 0, add 2 to both sides. So, ln x equals 2. So, x equals e both sides. So, that value there. Now, it doesn't mean that x is equal to e to the 2. That's the value of k. Okay? So, k must equal oops, e to the 2. All right? Because we don't want it to be that, because that would make that 0. Right, part b. Well, that's telling me to differentiate. Okay? So, we've got to differentiate this up here. So, it's quotient rule, isn't it? So, u equals 3 ln x minus 7, b equals ln x minus 2. Now, when you differentiate this, it does actually look a little bit scary for a minute. So that's just going to be 3 over x and dv. That'll just be 1 over x. Now, if we just piece all that together, so do you remember uh, quotient rule is v du minus u dv over v squared. So if we just piece all that together, and see what that gives us. So that's going to give us 3 over x ln x minus 2. Take away 1 over x, 3 ln x minus 7. And it's all over ln x minus 2 squared. Now don't worry about that. Don't, don't like start thinking about trying to multiply that out. We don't need to. Um, let's just have a look and see what happens on the top on the numerator there. So what's that going to give us? It's going to give us 3 over x ln x minus 6 over x. Now, my initial thought on this question was like, oh no, where on earth is this going? But actually, the moment I wrote this bit down, I suddenly thought, ah, this is a bit easier than I thought. So ln x minus 2 squared. Right, look at what happens to the numerator. Those two cancel, don't they? And then I've got, oh, whoops, there's a plus there. Ooh, nearly made a mistake there, look. Right, it's going to be a plus. Right, so these two are going to cancel. I've got minus 6 over x plus 7 over x. So that's 1 over x, yeah? So I have 1 over x, and we're dividing that by ln x minus 2 squared. Right, what's going to happen here? Well, that bit, that's a positive, isn't it? Right, you square something, you're always going to get a positive answer. Right? And this bit here, well, remember, x has to be more than 0. So, therefore, that's got to be positive. So therefore, the whole answer has to be positive. Right? You've got positive divided by positive. All right? So, that shows it for all the values. Okay? Right. Now, let's have a look at part C. All right? So, trying to think about, well, okay. So, find the range of values of a for when this lot and this is going to be more than zero. Well, first of all, let's just let's think about the numerator. Okay, so let's think about well again. Let's think when when it is equal to zero. First of all, so add seven divided by three. Okay, equals seven over three. E both sides. So seven over three. So I want the numerator to be to be more than this, and that will give me a positive. Now, if you remember this value up here as well, e squared here, okay? Now, what's going to happen when I've got this a that's going in here? When it's less than this, so when it's more than that, then that there is going to be positive. When it's between 0 and e squared, so when a is between this and this, right? Remember, it has to be more than 0. Then I'm the, the, the denominator, okay? The denominator will be negative, all right? And when a is less than e to 7 over 3, then it's going to be negative. So I don't want this region in between e squared, uh, 
e squared and e to the 7 over 3. Right? That's not going to work. That's not going to be positive. Right? So I'm going to get a double negative in this region. And then I'm also I'm going to get both bits are going to be positive in the region when a is more than 7 over, oops, sorry, it's e to the 7 over 3. Okay, so in those two regions. There we are.